Hi, right, here's a quick tutorial on how to use a triple beam balance to measure mass. It's called a triple beam balance because you're actually going to balance something around this pivot point right here. You're going to place your mass on top of this pan and you can see there's three beams with what we call riders uh, right there. You're going to slide those across to the right and balance out whatever you put over here. So uh, first thing you need to do when you get to a balance is make sure it's calibrated. In order to calibrate it, uh, first thing you have to do is make sure everything is slid, all the three riders are slid to the zero position. And then check over here to see if it's already calibrated. In this case you can see the line on the left is not lined up with the zero mark on the right. So I have to do some calibration. The calibration knob is right over here on the left side of the balance, or underneath the pan there. You can just rotate it one way or the other. You can kind of guess if you want to, or go with rule righty tighty lefty loosey. And uh, if you roll, rotate to the right, it's going to go in this way and shift some weight in that direction. If you rotate to the left or counterclockwise, it's going to push it out and shift weight to the left. So you just decide what you need to do. If you can't think of it, then just guess and see what happens to your needle on your mark over here. So I'm going to do a righty-tighty to shift some weight over to the right side. Help that right side come down a bit. do that and those it's still not quite lined up so I'm going to go back over here and do a little more calibration turn it a little more so we're still a little bit high so I'm gonna do a little more Just a little more to the right So that calibration knob on the left side of the balance is all you need to adjust once you've set your riders to the zero position. And once you're set, you can then place your masses on top of the pan over here, and then you'll use the riders here uh, to figure out the mass. Um, I always start with the biggest one first, and I shift that over to the 100 mark. You need to make sure it's in the groove right there at 100. And that still hasn't weighed down, so I'm going to shift over to the next one, 200. That, that went too far, so I'm going to drop it back to 100. So I know it's more than 100, less than 200. I'm going to go to the, the tens mass here, shift it across until I've gone too far. So it's pretty close to 240. Looks like that was just a little bit too much. I'm going to back it off uh, to the 30 mark. And then I'll fine tune it with the small ones up near 140. So I'm going to slide that over quite a ways. I'm getting close now. A little more. That's about right, right there. So now to read the mass, I'm just going to combine all three of these. I'm going to look at the hundreds first. It's kind of fuzzy, it looks like there. Let me clean off the lens. Helped or not, but you've got 100, 30, and then over here you have, sorry that's blurry, but it's 9.8. So 139.8. 139.8 grams would be the mass of this cube. That's how you use a triple beam balance to measure mass.